Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're going to be going over a full face using one brand and that brand today is Shantikai. Now I have several of the Shantikai pieces already, but Shantikai reached out to me and gave me some more pieces to try out and to share with you guys. So I look forward to trying them on with you guys today. And they also gave me a code so that you guys can do some shopping over this Memorial Day weekend. I have a code that lasts from 528 to 531 and it's where you get 20% off and one of their lipsticks for free if you spend $125 and over. All right, let's get into this collection by Shantikai. I'm gonna start off first with the hibiscus smoothing mask. It retails for $90. I did already apply this. You just put on a thin layer anywhere from three to five minutes. It has papaya enzyme in it, grapefruit and flower acids. It's a gentle, effective retexturizing cream, so it helps to take off the dead skin and leave a really smooth complexion. Now, I love that it's crafted in Switzerland. Some of my favorite skincare products are made in Switzerland as well as France, and it uses a high concentration of botanicals. Now, just briefly, my two favorite things about Chantecaille is one, obviously how great their formulations are and they use botanicals and it just feels great on the skin and it's good for your skin. And number two is all the philanthropic work that the brand does. They really do a lot for animals and for the environment and that is such a win-win for me. So briefly, a couple of the product details for those of you that are curious like how effective the actual product is. It uses glycolic acid, hibiscus flower acid, grapefruit extract, papaya extract, sodium hyaluronate, jasmine narcissus and mimosa flower waxes so what all those do is they help with exfoliation brightening some vitamin c as well as some soothing in there so you're having something that is going to really polish the skin give a nice bright texture it takes away the dead skin will tighten down the pore and most importantly it does it without stripping the skin and making it really dry and tight all right so that has already been used on my face my face feels fantastic from it i'm going to go ahead now and jump into the rose cream now Next, I'm going to get into the Rose de Mai cream. This is an excellent cream for those of you who do not like the feeling of a deep, rich, heavy cream, but want really wonderful hydration. It's pretty much like a summer cream. I use it year round, but I say summer because I think of creams in summer not going together, but this is definitely something that you could use in summer because it has a gel texture. Now there's a lot of information about this cream, so I'm gonna read just a couple bullet points to you guys. The Rose de Mai Essence, extracted from one of the world's rarest roses, infuses the formula with a uniquely uplifting aroma, it also has sweet pea stem cell extract, which helps to moisturize and neutralize accumulated photo damage created by UV while recharging and lessening the look of redness. Wild pansy extract has immediate and long-term hydrating properties, reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Matrixol 3000, which is awesome, um, is a unique blend of peptides that help promote a more toned appearance and reduce the look of wrinkles. Matrixol 3000 really does a great job of plumping the skin. So fine lines or medium lines, it works great with. Some people say deep lines. I find it works really well with um, fine lines and medium lines. And as always, we never wanna put our fingers inside of the products um, if they're a jar, because it will break down the formulation and you just don't wanna get bacteria in your creams. So I already wiped off the end of a makeup brush and I'm just taking a, I would say a good dime size amount of cream. I'd rather have less and add more than have too much. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take about that much here. I'm just rubbing this into the skin. It is so lightweight, you guys, hydrating. The scent of the rose in here is very light because it's a botanical, so it's not synthetic, but it's not overpowering. Sometimes rose to me just smells too fragrant, and this is just more of a relaxing natural rose scent. It is hydrating, but it is lightweight because you know that I do not care for something heavy or sticky on my skin. I don't mind it first if it goes on nice and rich, but it has to break down and just melt into the skin otherwise I just can't stand that feeling of something too heavy on my face. This is a light kind of creamy jelly texture. You can put it in your fridge and it will be nice and cooling especially for those of you who are in hotter climates in the summer months. Put it in your fridge, put it on, it just feels incredible. Here we go. Nice and hydrated and just light texture. Love it. Now this is the Future Skin Cushion Skincare 
compact. I love, love this compact. It is the best, lightest weight, fullest coverage, awesome <laughs> makeup in a compact I've ever used. I've used Tom Ford's, I've used Chanel's. Chanel's probably my second favorite, um, but they no longer carry it in the States. So when this came around, I was so thrilled. I had been on the hunt for a cushion compact for a while. I did do a video on it that goes into more detail. I'll link it down below. But since I'm doing a full face using one brand, which of course is Shantikai, I wanted to go ahead and pull this out and I'll go over a couple little you know, features and benefits with you guys. So first of all, amazing. It supports the elephant foundation. What an incredible cause. I love Chantecaille because they really do a great job of supporting wonderful causes. Now this one's all based on the elephant and ugh, the elephant is my favorite animal. So of course I had to get this compact. I love that it comes with two inserts of foundation with two separate puffs, which is great for application. Now I'm gonna go ahead and read a bit to you guys about this and then we'll jump into application. So this does retail for $128. It's a fresh water-based foundation formula, smoothing anti-pollution skincare, blurs imperfection, and leaves skin looking flawless. Lightweight, refillable cushion compact, buildable coverage, and super easy to use. Now it does say that for every cushion that is bought, it feeds an orphan baby elephant rescued by the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. One cushion equals one bottle of milk formula. Each compact contains one inserted refill and one cushion compact already inside. All right, so it's a win-win-win, but let's go ahead and try this on so that you guys can see what I am talking about. All right, so here's the puff. Open this up here and you're just going to tap it. Whoops. <laughs> so you're just going to tap it into the product. Now feel free to start in the middle and work your way out. Because this is so light and different than foundation because it's not in a liquid formula, you kind of just can touch up anywhere on the face. It doesn't have to start like in the middle and work out. Um, this is fantastic for staying on 12 plus hours. It's great for touch up, even if you're wearing different foundation. So let's say you're wearing a Chanel foundation or a Dior foundation, you can take this foundation and use it just as a touch up. I will say one thing people have mentioned, and I do agree with, is that you do go through it quite fast where my other cushion compacts last anywhere from five to six months. This one I'd say lasts three to four and four is stretching it. So it really is one that you have to buy about four times a year. Um, unless you can make it stretch a little longer than that, but you know, it's definitely like a seasonal thing. Every three months I find I would have to get a new one. It is such a beautiful, natural, lightweight coverage. It just feels like you're wearing nothing on the skin. Really incredible. I would love to know how they formulated this because it's just really well done. So I'm gonna do just one side of my face that you guys can see the difference between the side obviously that has the application and the side that does not. And what it does for your pores, <laughs> it's no joke, it is so good. It really does blur, but without being powder. I find when Cushion Compacts say that they blur, I usually find that all that happens is that the product settles into my pores um, instead of blurring them. And this does not emphasize texture, it really just softly lays across the skin, giving a very soft focused finish. You can build it up. And most cushion compacts are usually light to medium coverage. And if they get to full coverage, I find it looks really heavy and cakey. Um, this doesn't. And it is a full coverage cushion compact. I'll go ahead and put a little bit on my finger and just tap it around the eyes so that you can see how you can use it as your concealer. It really does a good job of neutralizing discoloration around the eye without settling into those fine lines. It's fantastic. <laughs> I have a dark spot right here, which I'm just calling a freckle as I get older. <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys kind of the coverage it offers. All right, here we go. The side with the cushion compact on it and the side without. All right, so I've not tried this next product on yet. I am reading that it says it was an Allure Best of winner 2019. It's called The Real Bronze. It retails for $78. And it states that it is a gel powder bronzer, a finely milled gel powder bronzer that gives the face a glow that recreates a real sun-kissed effect with a natural finish. The Advanced Gel Powder Formula uses pearl pigment technology to create a soft, 
texture that kisses the skin with a buildable, beautiful glow, but never looks or feels like makeup crafted in Italy. All right, so let's try this beauty on, shall we? So I'm going to use my favorite brush for applying bronzer and contour, and this is the Sonia G Sculpt 4 brush. I love this because I can place the product exactly where I want it, and then I can flip the brush and fan it upwards to give me some lifting action on the face. And I just work around in a C shape, being this way. I'll take the flat side of the brush and just work whatever's left over onto that temple and above that, on the forehead above the brow bone. Ooh, very pretty. For those of you that watch my channel, I just did a Victoria Beckham bronzer that I am in love with. What would be the difference between the Victoria Beckham and this one is Victoria Beckham is matte, whereas the Chantecai one has a subtle shimmer. I'm sure when I get into the light, it'll have like a light golden sun kiss look. So very pretty, very natural. All right, next we have the blush, and this is called the Philanthropy Cheek Shade. There are six different blushes that connect with six different causes that Chantecai works with, which I absolutely once again love. And this one is the Butterfly. So the color here is a light, softy rose kind of undertone, and it has the Monarch Butterfly on it. So it states that it is made using finely milled pigments that contribute to the exquisite colors and a featherweight texture that brushes on lightly and blends seamlessly. Each cheek shade leaves a gorgeous veil of flushed color. So let's try it on. This is my first time playing with this type of blush from their collection. I always try to get their products that are connected to their philanthropic work. Um, so I'm excited to play with this one today. All right, so here's the Sonia G Designer Pro Brush. I'm just going to dip that in the powder here. As you can see, it's a light pink. I'm wondering if it's going to show up really well because um, it is so light, but I also thought that about the new Flower Power Blush and it showed up really nicely, so hoping this does the same. So I'm just popping that on the upper cheek area um, right above the bronzer we just did, but not where we normally put highlighters, so just right above the bronzer tapping it on and then I'm going to lightly do small circles to kind of buff it out and move around that c-section again and when I say a c-section I mean the actual c-section on the face it's considered like the c right here and if you're doing bronzer and you want a sun kiss look you do a three all right here we are Definitely a beautiful soft flush for sure. Very natural looking. So this does not have the blush on there and this cheek does. You guys know how I feel about my Gucci face powder. You know, if you've been watching my channel, you know it's the one I use the most, it's the one I rave about the most, it's my favorite. For a long time I used by Terry the Hyaluronic Powder because I am combination dry and then Gucci powder came into my life and I've been all about it. Well. I found Gucci's best friend. <laughs> this is such a good powder, you guys. This is the HD Perfecting Loose Powder. And I'll tell you guys why I like it as much as my Gucci powder. It's convenient and it's lightweight and it's so easy to use. And it leaves the same type of finish, which is a very light, subtle finish on the skin with a very subtle shimmer. Now you guys hear me use the word subtle a lot and that's a theme for me. I want, of course, to look like my best. I wanna be able to cover up any concerns that I have on my skin, but I don't wanna look heavy and cakey and that I'm trying to cover up things on my face. So it's very important to me to have textures that are very light. And even when I'm doing makeup on clients, the whole goal for me is not to make them look like they're wearing a face mask. I want them to look like their best 
version of themselves. And this powder is very lightweight, which is very important to me. For years, I didn't even wear powder because I just found, even in my younger years, that it just settled, whether that be in oil or pores or fine lines or wrinkles. There's a few out there that I really love, and this now is one of those powders that I'm crazy about. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this looks on the skin. So as you saw, it just pushes down once you take the cap off and you just dip it upside down and you start swirling and it's good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly buff it onto the skin. An amazing powder for under the eyes because the brush works so softly under that eye area. I do not like powder under my eyes, but I tried this on the other day, put it underneath my eyes and it just did such a good job of keeping my makeup in place without dehydrating under the eye area. I'm gonna read briefly to you guys just a little bit about this powder. It states that it's a shimmering featherweight loose powder that instantly lights up the skin with a warm candlelit sheen. Non-drying, ultra fine, the powder flows through a luxe self-dispensing vegan brush that releases the perfect amount of powder and seals securely with zero mess. The key words here to me that are accurate are the perfect amount of powder. I don't know how they did it, but these formulas usually to me get all over the place or they're just a ton of powder right when you put it on in one area and then you're trying to blend that one area out because it just puts too much product in. So it definitely dispenses just the right amount of powder. Second thing that I really noticed that stands out is, is that it has a warm candle lit sheen to light up the skin. Absolutely accurate, super, super subtle. Once again, a very polished, very subtle look from Chantecaille very natural looking and I absolutely love it. All right, this next product is the Shentakai Full Brow Perfecting Gel Tint in Dark. I did try some of this on without my brow pencil. I already have my brow pencil on and I didn't add the gel I usually put on top because of course I wanted to try this on with you guys. And I will say by itself, it just wasn't enough for my very, very thin, sparse brows. I definitely have to add a pencil, but I, hardly have any brows you guys so i feel like i'm a perfect person to try eyebrow products on and yet i'm the worst person to try eyebrow products on because <laughs> i can show you how to do a better brow because i hardly have any but yet with certain products it doesn't do much because i hardly have any basically i'm going to go ahead and show you how the gel sits and how it tints the brows but if you have little tiny brows this will not be enough you'll need to have a pencil with it uh, a little bit about the product it retails for 40. it states it's a light gel texture that combs fills and sets brows into perfect place while enhancing the natural brow shade Okay, so I have not tried this on with a brow pencil. I only tried it on with nothing on, just my brows. And I do like it on top of my brow pencil. I've been using the Tarte, and sometimes the Tarte gets a little dark, which a couple of you have mentioned, like, ooh, your eyebrows are dark, and I have to agree, sometimes they get too dark. I'm going to use this instead. It's much lighter, more natural looking, um, less heavy and less dark. As you can see, it just gives a little bit more of a subtle, natural look. So I would use this in combination personally with a, my brow pencil, um, but I just couldn't use it by itself. Can you guys see the difference in what it did to my brow from this side to this side? It's definitely a lot lighter on this side and it just looks a little more refined compared to this side looks a little bit blocky, um, a little too dark all the way through, like it's dark from here to here. This kind of thinned out the color so that I have more of a light brow and then it gets a little bit more deeper and then the tail gets lighter again. Briefly, for those of you looking to do a really natural brow, most people, not all, but most people have not very many brows here and here and the bulk of it is usually 75% like more in the middle. Um, so it's always good to do a lighter brow at the uh, front or by the side of the nose because it looks a little bit more natural and I feel like this helped give that effect. All right, let's talk about one of the most beautiful eyeshadows that are on the market. Um, look at other content creators if you must, but this is such a beautiful eyeshadow formula. Very popular. They come in singles. And once again, it is based on different animals on the cover that they work with. And this one is the crane. 
Oh my goodness, for those of you with hazel eyes, this color is stunning. And they do retail for $52, but they are so beautiful. It is a one and done eyeshadow. I'm gonna use my finger just to show you guys how easy it is to apply. All right, so let's go ahead and play with this color now. So I'm gonna take my ring finger and just go right into this color here. These kind of colors are perfect for every eye color because they just bring like a pop of life to the eye, but it also has the most subtle shift that it will grab eye color really well and really make it stand out. Um, especially with all the other, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight colors. Every single color I can use on every single skin tone and every single eye color. That is how well formulated their color ranges as well as the texture you guys such a beautiful beautiful eyeshadow <laughs> it'll be a go-to it's just like one you reach for really easy to use okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just tap this on the lower lid here and work across they blend easy they stick to the finger they have a kind of a light jelly texture to it so that they don't fall out all over underneath the eye area you can do this kind of eyeshadow like if you're sitting in the back seat of a car and it was bumpy and you're having a hard time getting shadow on. This is great because it's really easy to apply and it doesn't get all over the place. So I put most of it on the lower lid, tapped it on so it would really stick to the eye really well because we have oils in our lid. So pressing it in helps to push that pigment into the oils on the lid and really set it so that it doesn't move. From there, I'll take my clean finger and just work it up into the brow bone area. How easy, how pretty is that? Such an easy application. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye and we'll get into the next shadow. All right, the next product we have is the Mermaid Eye Color in the color Starfish. This is a warm mauve and it retails for 35. Here's the color. Really pretty warm mauve color. Really easy to use, just like the shadow. You could take your finger and just slide it across the eye. This is actually even easier to use than the one I just applied, which was this one. So this jelly texture um, just rolls onto the skin gorgeously. So up to you what finish you want um, and kind of easeability, but I'm going to combine them. So I have the shadow on in the crane color and I'm now adding the starfish to the center of the lid here. I like adding these jelly textures because it creates a really nice kind of a dewy, polished, sleek look in the middle of the eye. Catches light really beautifully. All right. One and done, or in this case, two and done, eyeshadow look. All right, let's get some lips on. So I'm going to show you three different lipsticks that can go with this eye look. You'll be amazed how lipstick can really change your whole makeup look. So if you do something that's kind of subtle like this with a smoky eye, just based on your lip color, will give you a different look. So I'm gonna first start off with the most natural and the most hydrating of the three, and that's the Lip Veil. And this is the color Tambodi. <laughs> so I'm gonna read a bit to you about these. These retail for $49. This one is a warm nude, the color, and it says it's a light gliding lipstick enriched with baobab oil certified by Fair Wild that leaves luminous veil of pure hydrating color. Now, once again, I love elephants, and this is that 4% of the African elephant population is still alive, so protecting them is essential. Thank you. The lip veil supports space for giants and their work to preserve the migration path of elephants in Africa and keep them thriving for future generations. So if you want a beautiful lipstick color or a fantastic foundation or a great eyeshadow and want to do something that helps our beautiful animal friends, this is a great, great way of doing it. All right, let's try this on. All right, so we have kind of a nude, more natural look. Now this nude is a bit too warm for me, 
So if you get colors like this and you find that they can wash you out a bit, all you need to do is add a bit more blush and it will bring it all together really nicely. I'm not because I'll be doing two other colors that are brighter and I don't wanna uh, look like too much. So this color is beautiful, feels great. I would just add a little blush. Let's go over the next color, which is the Lip Tint Hydrating Balm. Four colors, retail for 34. The color I got is Madeira. These are fantastic for summer or for those of you that like a very bright but natural subtle looking finish, really hydrating, and they look so beautiful with a smoky eye. <laughs> so it states that this is the perfect no makeup makeup lip balm. We've paired sheer lightweight hydration and subtle lip enhancing color in a chic slim swivel pen. These are so pretty because it really is like a tint to your lips. Mm. Now I love this together and I don't think you can get much more summer than this. This is just a beautiful spring summer type of lip texture as well. All right, let's go into the last lipstick. All right, this last one is a true lipstick. Good coverage, very velvety textured. This is the color Cerise. They retail for $39 and it states it's a creamy formula that provides excellent definition, luxurious texture, and vivid color. So here's the color Cerise. Now this is much more for a polished evening type of look or for a daytime look for those of you that like something that's a little bit more bold. It's my first time trying these on. Wow, really pigmented, really rich, beautiful. Mm. Wow, for how much pigment is in these, I am shocked that they have such a beautiful sheen. Sometimes when products specifically lipsticks are really pigmented they can look a bit dry um, and a bit heavy but this leaves like a nice sheen on the lips so pretty well you guys know i love red and deeper colors but this is like yeah the texture on this is surprising me i just didn't think it would have so much hydration and such a lovely finish So there we have it, a full face using one brand. I want to thank Chantikai because they sent me some of these pieces. Some of these I already have in my collection, but it was really a treat to try these on and to share these with you guys. Of course, let me know if you guys have any questions. Chantikai is by far one of my favorite brands. I've been a makeup artist for 25 years and I have used them often. And if you guys want to support Shri Voyage, the best way to do that is to subscribe, leave me a comment down below, hit the like button, and use those affiliate links down below. Something that I'm very excited about is that Chantikai is giving me a code to give to you guys so that you guys get a little extra something. It's very important for me when I work with brands to obviously give you my honest opinion, but also to make sure that you guys get some sort of perk out of it so that you guys can try the brand out yourself. So I'm reading over here exactly what they're offering and I'm also gonna put the information um, at the very end of the video and I will link it down below as well. So the exclusive promo code for subscribers here on Shri Voyage is buy one, get one 20% off plus a free lipstick when you spend 125. The code is Shri M D W and it goes on from 528 to 531. I will link all this information down below for you guys, for those of you that are interested in trying some Chantikai products out. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Of course, please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.